a new virus, called the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, or SARS-CoV-2, was identified as the cause of a disease outbreak. The disease is called Coronavirus Disease 2019, or COVID-19. In March 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19, a pandemic. Data has shown that it spreads from person to person among those in close contact. The virus spreads by respiratory droplets released when someone infected with the virus coughs, sneezes or talks. COVID-19 symptoms can be very mild to severe. Some people have no symptoms. The most common symptoms are fever, cough, and tiredness. Other symptoms may include shortness of breath, muscle aches, chills, sore throat, headache, chest pain, and loss of taste or smell. Symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. A vaccine isn't currently available for the coronavirus disease. However, we can reduce chances of being infected or spreading COVID-19 by taking some simple precautions. Number 1. Wash your hands often. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds especially after you have been in a public place, or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands and rub them together until they feel dry. And, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Number 2. Avoid close contact. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, even inside your home. If possible, maintain six feet between the person who is sick and other household members. Put distance between yourself and other people outside of your home. Remember that some people without symptoms may be able to spread virus. Do not gather in groups. Stay out of crowded places and avoid mass gatherings. And, Keeping distance from others is especially important for people who are at higher risk of getting very sick. Number 3. Use a face mask. You could spread COVID-19 to others even if you do not feel sick. Everyone should wear a face mask when they have to go out in public, for example to the grocery store or to pick up other necessities. The face mask is meant to protect other people in case you are infected. Do not use a face mask meant for a healthcare worker. And, continue to keep about 6 feet between yourself and others. The face mask is not a substitute for social distancing. Number 4. Cover coughs and sneezes. If you are in a private setting and do not have on your cloth face covering, remember to always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use the inside of your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash. And, Immediately wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not readily available, clean your hands with a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Number 5. Clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets faucets, and sinks. If surfaces are dirty, you should clean them. Use detergent or soap and water prior to disinfection. And then, use a household disinfectant. Number 6. Monitor your health. If you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention, but call by telephone in advance if possible and follow the directions of your local health authority. Calling in advance will allow your health care provider to quickly direct you to the right health facility. This will also protect you and help prevent spread of viruses and other infections. Keep up to date on the latest information from trusted sources, such as your local and national health authorities. Local and national authorities are best places to advise on what people in your area should be doing to protect themselves. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to know the latest update from OFW Insights World.